Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to a new class. Hello, hello. How are you today? It's a pleasure hello, to see you. Hello, teacher. Hi, Moises. Hello, teacher. Wilfredo, Carlos, William, Maria Rene. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, Jonathan. Welcome back. ¿Qué se hello, había hecho? teacher. ¿Qué se había hecho, Jonathan? <laughs> hello. Here we are again, reloaded, recargado, right? <laughs> okay, good. And then, Carlos, welcome. San Miguel present. Yes, okay. Yes. Very good. So, Erenia too, right? And San Miguel. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Now, let's begin with the class. Good uh, evening. Good evening, Jessica Carolina. It's a pleasure. Where is the coffee, Jessica? Where is the coffee? <laughs> Only Moises is drinking coffee, eh? Look. Uh, el coffee so, and cocoa. Ah, okay. And Moises, uh, we are waiting for the semita, right? No, yes. Semita, uh, the affirmative. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, let's let's start with the class, right? I will share some material. I will share some material. Right. Okay. Vocal and Vowels and consonants. Yes, it's true, right? Okay, class. Yesterday we were learning about the simple present, right? Okay, let me see. Francisco, right? Uh, estoy de camino. Very good, Francisco. No problem. I will copy. Vamos a copiarle que es. Viene de camino, Francisco. Okay. Uh, Carlos Francisco, yes. Good. Now, Listen to the audio, please. Simple present. Remember, it's a topic. Simple present. Page 36, exercise 2, conversation. Nice car. Listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. Okie dokie, now listen again and repeat. Ready? Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? Repeat, please. Nice car, Jason. No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown. But they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Now, we're going to uh, listen again and repeat, please. Give me a second here. For Brenda Lee, a listener, right? 
Okay, now repeat after me, please. Nice car, Jason. Repeat, please. Is it yours? Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. No, it's my oh. sister. She has a new job. She has a new job. And she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. Downtown. My parents work downtown. But they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The chosen or the, no, sorry, the chosen, not the bus or the train. The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. Okay, very good. Any question about vocabulary? Any question about vocabulary? No question. Sure. No question. Okay, Delia, please. Question? No, it's no, me. No. Uh, okay, please. What is your question? Elsa, ¿Este es un repaso? Yes. It's a review. Okay. Because yesterday, remember, Elsa, we were working with affirmative and negative sentences in the simple present, right? So this is... I remember... Uh -huh. I remember that this conversation um, we what? Uh -huh. In level in one, the one. Level one. Yes, yes, correct. Yes, it's correct. It's totally correct. Yes, but today we're going to see it uh, faster, you know, más rápido, faster <laughs> than in, in okay. minutes. Yes, yes, because okay, uh, we are going to uh, introduce the information question in lesson number three. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the, Thank the you, question, teacher. how many and how much? How many, how much? Right? Okay. okay. So in, in class number one, class number two and class number three, simple present. Why is that? Number one, we have new students, right? Tenemos nuevos estudiantes. Number two, this topic is very extensive, right? It's very extensive. So we can practice a lot. Tenemos que practicar mucho because it's a difficult topic, right? Es un tema muy difícil, so. Now, class. I need two volunteers to practice this conversation. I need Ashley and Jason. You can raise your hand, please. Me, teacher. Okay, and Delia, right? Delia, you are Ashley. Okay, now I need a Jason. Jason, where are you, Jason? Jason, Jason. 10-4, 10-4. Where is Jason? Volunteers, volunteers. I can't believe, Me, come teacher. on. Ah, okay. Who is it? Say your name, please. Kenya. Kenya. Sorry, <laughs> Kenya. I didn't recognize your voice. Sorry. Yeah, but remember, right? It is more difficult for me to recognize. Okay. 
Always tell me, eh, me, Kenya, me, Elsa, me, Delia, okay? Good, now, eh, de, eh, Kenya, you are Jason, ready? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, tonight we have Delia and Kenya, action. Nice cars, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new hope and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train. The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. Okie dokie. That's it. Thank you very much. Now let's continue, right? Let's move. Let's move. Now... We have here affirmative and negative. Affirmative and negative center, right? Like I say to Elsa, right, this is a review, but we're going to practice again. Affirmative and negative, right? Now, listen to the audio, please. Page 37, exercise 4, grammar focus. Simple present statements. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. Okie dokie. Now, in this case, notice that we uh, have affirmative statements and negative statements. Remember, last class we, we were working with that, you know, affirmative and negative. Affirmative is subject verb and complement i walk to school i is the subject i will i will tell you here right i is the subject and walk is the verb right subject verb and complement right subject verb and complement you ride your bike you is the subject, right is the verb. He works, she takes, we live, they use. Subject, verb, and complement. Subject, verb, easy, right? Easy, easy, no difficult, no difficult, easy. Subject, verb, and complement, right? Okay. Then, uh, notice that when we use third person singular, he, she, and it, we add an S to the verb. We don't say, she work. No, no, no. We say, she works. We don't say, she take. We say, she takes. Okay? He works. She takes. My brother works. My sister takes. Piru likes works. Missy Fuss takes, <laughs> okay, you know, third person singular, third person singular, right? Okay, good. Now, in the negative sentences, remember that we use, uh, we use the auxiliary do for I, you, and let's say I, we, you, they only that right mm -hmm. yes and we use does for he she and it right remember that so when do you use the auxiliary in the simple present we use the auxiliary in negative statements and questions negative statements and questions so, for example, here, look, I say, I don't live. What is don't live? 
is do not live. Do, do, I do, you know, I do not live. You do not live in Cujucuyo. No, no, in Cujucuyo. No, no, near here. Excuse me, excuse me. And when it's third person singular, he, she, we use does. Look, does. He does not work. She does not drive. My friend does not eat pupusas. My father does not or doesn't uh, eat nuegados, for example, right? Understand? Negative, right? Okay. So in this context, we have, in the negative sentences, we use subject, I, right? Auxiliary, don't, do not in negative, right? And verb, leave, right? In affirmative, subject and verb, only two. But in negative, we have subject, auxiliary, and verb. Subject, I, auxiliary, don't, and verb, leave, right? Now, you is the subject, don't is the auxiliary, leave is the verb. He is the subject, doesn't is the auxiliary, and work is it. Hey, wait a minute, please. Wait a minute. The teacher said that when I use he, she, or it, I add an S to the verb, right? Aunque el teacher dijo que cuando es tercera persona se le agrega una S al verbo, ¿ah? ¿eh? Ok, ¿qué pasó aquí, amiguitos? Why? ¿Por qué no le hemos agregado una S aquí al verbo? Work. Pues he works, right? She drives or not. Why not? Por el auxiliar. Because, because the auxiliary. of the auxiliary. Because of the auxiliary. Ladies and gentlemen, clap from Dudley. Congratulations. Excellent also. Yes. Okay, very good. Because of the auxiliary. Every time you use the auxiliary, you don't add the S to the verb, right? We use the base form. Usamos el verbo base siempre. Okay? Understand? Even in negative in question, ya sea en preguntas o en oraciones negativas, no le agregamos ese al verbo por el auxiliar, ¿ok? Good. Now, any question? Questions, questions? No questions. Ok, good. Now, we are going to make an exercise in the book. In the manual, I mean, right? And later we continue with this, right? Ah, sorry, I will. I will give you an explanation of, of the third person singular. Notice that in affirmative walk, we walks. Right, right. Uh, yes, tell me. Um, eh, I, eh, ¿Dónde podemos conseguir el, el, el folleto? El libro. Uh, today I will show you. Ahorita mismo le voy a okay. decir. Yes. Eh, ya, les, ya les explico. Okay, good. Now, walk, walks, write, writes, study, studies. What do you do? Cambiamos la Y por I latina, right? And we are ES. Study, studies. In watch. Siempre que el verbo termine en S, en Z, en X, en O, en CH o en SH, le vamos a agregar siempre ES. ¿Ok? Es no el Salvador, no, es ES, ¿right? Example, watch. Watches. ES, right? Como termina en CH, here, le vamos a agregar ES. Ok? Other example is fix, a re reparar, right? Fix. Notice? Como termina en X, fixes. Right? Other example, wash, lavar. 
como termina en SH, watches. Vestirse, dress. Como termina en S, dresses. Right? Etc, etc. This is, I repeat, only for third person singular. Y he, he, she, and it. Solo para estos tres. Ok? Don't forget. Now let's go to the manual. Permita, vamos a ir al manual. Pero antes vamos a dejar de compartir acá. Y me permiten cerrar unas ventanas para, para que podamos estar tranquilitos acá. Ok. Give me a second. Por aquí tengo otra ventana abierta. Ok, good. Ahora sí vamos a ir a la plataforma para mostrarle a Delia dónde bajar el libro, right? Ya aquí me hace, con solo estoy abriendo mi, mi correo. Sorry. Solo unos segunditos. Ok, here. It's slowly, right? Está un poco lento el internet. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Uh, no me abre, chicos. I don't know. Okay. Eh, bueno. Para mientras voy a tomar la asistencia en lo que me abre el correo. Está un poco lento mi internet, yes. Regálenme un segundito, solo vamos a tomar la asistencia, chicos. En lo que carga mi correo, sorry. Ok, eh, Ada. ¿Qué es? Ok, Ada, welcome. ¿Qué le pasó a no, no pudo sí. estar. No, aquí cuando estaba lloviendo ni había llegado a mi casa, entonces oh, por eso. Sorry. Uh -huh. so, Ada, you were swimming to your house, right? Ay, yo, ya casi por poco me tocó. Ok, welcome back, bienvenida nuevamente, ok. Eh, Thank Brenda, you. Ok, you're welcome. Brenda Lee está de oyente, and then Brenda. Present. Thank you, welcome. Carlos. Carlos Armando. Carlos, Carlos, 10-4, 10-4. Wake up, wake up. Mr. Carpio Abarca, Mr. Carpio Abarca. Bueno, creo que se ha levantado, pero ahí está la cámara, ¿ok? Eh, Francisco está de oyente. En Presente, el... Carlos Carpio. Ah, ok, very good. Sir, yes, sir. Thank you, yes. Carlos. Ok. Eh, Delia. Delia. Present, present teacher. Present. Elsa. Present teacher. Enrique Manuel. Enrique. Em, Erenia. Erenia, are you present. there? Ok, thank you. Evelyn. Here I am. Thank you. Freddy. Freddy Ali. Ingrid. Jessica Araceli. Jessica Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan. Present teacher. Kenia. Present teacher. María. Present teacher. Thank you. María René. Present. Mateo. Present. Thank you. Moisés. Uh, present teacher. Alexi. Present teacher. Wilfredo. Hey. Presente. Okay. Hello, Wilfredo. Welcome back. <laughs> Oh, thank you. 
Okay, welcome nice to, to meet you. You, you. you were in, in, no, you were in basic one, right? No, estuve en básico uno conmigo, Wilfredo. No. No, right? no, no, no. Okay, oh, you're, teacher. You're new. okay yeah. good. Welcome, welcome to the class, right? Thank you. Bienvenido, okay. Now, uh, William. Present. Okay, thank you, William. Wilfred, Wilmer, sorry, Wilmer. Present. Thank you very much. Oh, nice. Casi tenemos casa llena. Yes, okay, good. Now, let me see. Vamos a ver si ya me abrió el correo. Give me a second. Oh, yes. It's opening. Teacher. Yes, yes. Ahí lo compartí yo en el grupo, el manual. Oh, okay. Nice. Thank you very much. Eh, pues precisamente eso les iba a decir que yo se lo iba a compartir después de la clase pero ya se me adelantaron thank you very much I like it, right, thank you very much but now I will show you how to do it in the platform, pero los que no lo lo van a bajar de ahí pues también está la opción del, de la plataforma, quiero enseñarles para que en, en los siguientes niveles ustedes solitos también lo hagan, verdad ok, let me share ahorita les comparto The platform here, right? Okay, aprovechando, vámonos a ir a la plataforma, right? Look. Here we have with four sections, right? Okay, Ingrid, welcome Ingrid. Por aquí está Ingrid ya. Welcome. Yes, thank you Ingrid. Ya le tomé asistencia. Yes. Okay, and don't say buenas noches, Ingrid. Say good, good night. Come on, English, right? Okay, look. So we have four units. Unit one is world-related events. Unit two is ongoing activities. Is the present continuous, and the midterm test, right? Good. And unit three is scheduled events at the workplace, right? Eventos programados. And section four is tech support, technology, technology support, right? And the final test, the examen final. This is in the here, right? But if you say, I want the, the manual, right? Quiero el manual. So pay attention, please, Delia. We have curso, progreso, discusión, notas, información del curso. Instructor, ah, Student Manual, aquí está el manual, ¿ve? Le damos clic y ya nos aparece, miren. Here's the manual, right? Por aquí está el manual, mire, Delia. Yes, teacher, I am doing in another computer. Ah, ok, good, good. <laughs> Nice. Y aquí está, mire, abrir archivo. Y aquí tenemos descargar, mire, descargar. Por ahí lo puede descargar. Y pues ya nos lo compartieron en el grupo. Perdón que to tomen unos segunditos acá. Let me see. Ahí está el manual. Yes. Thank you very much. Thanks. Teacher. Yes, tell me, Jonathan. Eh, el día, como el día de ayer no pude asistir a la clase, eh, ¿cuál? Se, per, se perdió la semita. <ríe> Mala suerte. Yeah. Ajá, dígame, dígame. Eh, no, no pude asistir a la clase, ¿cuál es la contraseña para meta, o sea, para ingresar a nuestros usuarios? Ok. Eh, eh, usted recibió un correo, Jonathan. En el correo aparece acceso a la lista de YouTube, a la plataforma. ¿Y a qué más tiene acceso? Solamente a la plataforma y al listado de YouTube. Ok, para ir viendo los videos. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Y, el, y el link para ingresar al, 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 al grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, correcto, sí. El link para ingresar al grupo de WhatsApp y el link para el, 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 la clase de Zoom, porque ya lo, obviamente está aquí con nosotros, ya le dio clic, ¿no? Y le funcionó, ¿sí? Entonces, ahí mismo en ese correo aparece el acceso a la plataforma. 
Jonathan. Ahora bien, eh, parece ser que el, los compañeros han enviado un enlace, dice, dice así, mira, ahora en el grupo, Luis Bonilla. Buenas tardes, estimados alumnos, les esperamos hoy sin, sin falta, dice. Eh, estar en toda la sesión. Son dos horas. Ok, eh, 80% de asistencia, los que estén durmiendo, cafecito, cafecito, aquí está el cafecito, ¿eh? Yes. No se me duermo, no se me duermo. Ya, ya vamos a repartir la semita. <ríe> ok, ok, Jonathan. Y aquí aparece, miren, el enlace de la clase y la contraseña de, de Zoom. Además, aparecen unos teléfonos por cualquier duda que tengan ustedes y un correo, ¿verdad? Ahí están los compañeros apoyándome. Pero, Jonathan, en su correo que le envió inglés corporativo, ahí tiene que estar el, ac el acceso para el grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí le da unirse. ¿Está en computadora sí. o en su, su celular? Eh, ahorita lo estoy haciendo de mi celular, pero estoy Ajá. conectado en la computadora. Ahorita en la reunión. Ah, en ambos se puede, sí. Tengo el inconveniente de que el correo no lo encuentro y como al... El, el grupo de WhatsApp, yo me, o sea, ahora eh, me, me uní. Ah, ok, entonces usted no tiene, entonces, no tiene ajá, los lo, archivos. No. no ah, tiene. Y chere okay. que nos mandaron, no, fue por WhatsApp que nos mandaron el link y ahora Jonathan me preguntó y a él no le, él, yo le tuve que reenviar el, 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 el link para el, para el WhatsApp. Sí, uh -huh. sí porque él okay. no le, no le cargaba. Entonces, Jonathan, después de esta clase le voy a enviar la presentación de ayer y la de ahora. Ok. Y, ajá, y en el listado de YouTube, ahí en el correo dice listado de YouTube. Ahí le da clic y le aparece la clase de ayer y le va a aparecer esta clase. Ok. Sí, solo que tengo el inconveniente que no, no, no sé qué se me hizo ese correo. Vaya, entonces hagamos una cosa. Sí ya pudo entrar al grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, ya estoy. Eh, ¿Usted tiene el correo que envió eh, Luis Bonilla? No. No. Se lo voy a reenviar ahorita. Ah, ok, por favor. Se lo voy a reenviar y ahí están los links. Ahí están los links, bueno, permítame. Uh, ok. Ahí se lo mandamos ya. Ok. Ahí aparece nuevamente. Ahí están los links. Y ahí mismo aparece, Jonathan, eh, la persona que le puede atender. Se llama Carla Lemus. 75-81-85-81-33-26. Aparece el número ahí. Ah, ok. Sí, okay. Yeah. Vale, sí. ahí cualquier duda. Eh, pregúntele a ellos que si por favor le reenvían el, el, el mensaje que usted lo perdió, dígale ah, ok se lo reenvían a su correo y ahí que iba a estar el, el, el listado de YouTube el de WhatsApp el, este, eh, va a aparecerle un cupón para el super selecto ah, no, no, ese no, perdón le va, bueno, ahí le va a aparecer todo, ¿verdad? para que no esté este, pendiente de otros, de otros archivos, y yo en la noche después de la clase le voy a enviar los el PowerPoint de ayer y el de ahora. ¿Yes? Ok. Sí, sí, teacher. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Gracias. Good. Now, eh, let's go to the platform and let's go to the curso, right? Yes. Class number one. Ladies and gentlemen, unit number one. Good. Tarea number one. It's task number one. Look. The, remember every class, every, every task. Cada vez que terminemos una clase, ustedes pueden ir a la tarea y terminarla. Si ustedes se quieren adelantar, excelente, pueden adelantarse. ¿verdad? Solo que como clase por clase vamos explicando, es más fácil escuchar la clase y después hacer la tarea. ¿ok? Pero a algunos de ustedes les gusta irse un poquito adelante, está perfecto, excelentoso, pueden hacerlo. Y además la, la plataforma es amigable. Si ustedes se equivocan, pueden intentar otra vez e intentarlo hasta que saquen un 10. Uh, yes, ok. 
Good. For example, task number one. Look, I taking a shower, I take a shower, or I take a shower. Take a shower. No, no, no please. No se comparten la respuesta. No, no hay que soplarle la respuesta a los <laughs> lo compañeros. <laughs> Sorry. No problem. Okay. Ajá, ya, María, ya, ya vamos a ir vigilando ahí que no le pase la tema de respuesta. <laughs> Son bromas, María. Tranquila, no me preocupe. Ok. My boss send, my boss sending o my boss sends. ¿Se le agrega una S o no? Ahí ustedes vean, ¿sí? Respondan acá y después le dan enviar, ¿ok? Y ya les va a aparecer el diezón ahí. Este día tenemos la tarea 2. Miren. Como estamos viendo otra vez el presente simple. Repasándolo, ¿verdad? I take a shower every minute, every day, o two times a year. Me baño cada minuto, cada día, o dos veces al año. <risa> dos veces al año. Ok. Come on. So, ¿con qué frecuencia se bañen? Ok. Ahí está. Cada fin de semana. O cada día, right? Ahí ustedes deciden cuál es la respuesta correcta, right? The Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> On Sunday only, right? Okay. Or when, when you have a party, cuando hay fiesta, right? Okay. So, my partner have a party. ¿Cuándo tiene fiesta mis, mis compañeros? Every monthly, each month, o monthly, mensualmente, cada mes, o cada mensualmente. <laughs> Ok, you choose the, the answer, right? Y luego le damos enviar. Esta es la tarea de esta noche. Repito, los que quieran adelantarse pueden hacerlo, yes? Y de este viernes al otro vamos a hacer el midterm test. El examen de midterm que está aquí, miren. En la unidad 2, ¿ve? Ahí aparece el examen. Repito, los que quieran adelantarse pueden hacerlo. Pero... Los que quieren estar más seguros pueden esperar a la clase y hacerlo después de cada clase. Cada clase terminada, cada tarea terminada. Y los viernes, si ustedes se atrasan, por ejemplo, no hicieron la tarea de ayer, tienen que hacerla a más tardar el día viernes, porque Inglés Corporativo manda el reporte a Insafor y ellos ven si ustedes han trabajado ahí, ¿verdad? Ok, good. Any question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta del manual del curso? Ok, very good. Let's continue. Entonces sigamos con la clase. Ok, let's go to the manual. Nos vamos al manual y vamos a hacer un ejercicio que no hicimos ayer. Ok, ready? Ok, now let's go, let's go back to English. English only, right? Let me see. Here is the manual. Okay, look, here in the manual, we have the use of the simple present, right? On Mondays, on Mondays, I check my email, I type a letter, I write a report, I attend a meeting, I call clients, I read a report, I visit clients, and I organize meetings. Simple present. Uh, Subject, verb, and complement. No, in affirmative, subject, verb, and complement, right? Good. Now it says, number one, I call clients every day. Right? I call clients. What is that? Number five. Number five. Uh -huh, it's correct. Number five, right? So let's eliminate number five. Call client, right? Good. Number two. Or secretary. Or secretary what? Write a report. Write or writes? Writes a report. Excellent. Also, or secretary writes a report. Okie dokie. So we eliminate rights. 
a report, right? Uh huh. And then she sends them. No, wait a minute. Yes, writes a report. Then she sends them via email. The secretary writes a report. But in this case, it must be plural or not. Tendría que ser plural o no. Write report, right? No. Yes. Creo que aquí el libro está equivocado. Entonces vamos a corregirlo. Yes. Write reports. Porque en la respuesta dice, she sends them. Ella los envía. No, no es, she sends it. No, she sends them via email, right? Okay. Number three. Twice a day. What do, do you do twice a day? Wow. Read I checked, check, check, check my check email. My email. Excellent. So check my email, right? I check my email twice. Twice is two times, right? Twice a day. Good. Now I have two. Idea. I have to visit clients. Okay. I have to visit clients. Every Monday at eight o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Celia, the meetings organize. take place organize, organize, organize meeting, right? They organize meetings. Organize meeting, right? Now, what about you? Can you give me a personal uh, sentence, please? Volunteers? What do you do in your job, right? Ayer estuvimos practicando varias, varios verbos de lo que ustedes hacen en su trabajo. Yes? Teacher, give me one me. example. Okay, please. Me. Elsa, Elsa. yes. Uh -huh, come on. I, I? I read a report every day. Every day. Okay. Excelentoso, Elsa. Nice. I read a report every day. Correct. That's it, right? So simple present, right? Page, page number seven. No, seven, no. Page number 10. Page number 10, right? Okay. Manual. Now, any question? No questions? Okay, let's go to the report to the PowerPoint presentation for tonight. Just give me a second. Okay. Uh, sorry. Permítame que no me deja compartir. Here, right? Yes, aquí está ya. Yes, this is the, the presentation. Sorry. Permítame que no sé qué le pasa. Hoy sí. Ahí estamos ya. Yes, sorry, sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, here, here we are, right? Now the presentation for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Inglés Corporativo, teacher Javier Gomez and INSA4 say, welcome to a new class, basic module two. The topic for today is time expressions for regular activities, right? So what time expression do you use when you describe what do you do in your job? So we are going to review again, affirmative, negative, and questions 
in simple present. Vamos a repasarlo. Right? Vamos a repasarlo. And we are going to include some eh, expressions that are referred to eh, routines, right? Every day, every week, every Friday, once a day, twice a month, etc., etc., right? Okay, here we go. Let's talk about the unit number one. World-related events. Elsa, please, can you read the objective for tonight, please? Read. Okay. You need to um, work relate, relate events. Related. I will be... Related. Mm. Related mm. events. I will be able to talk about routines and everyday situations. Excellent also, right? Thank you, Elsa. So, routines. What do you do every day? You work, you make reports, you send emails, you, you uh, talk to clients. What do you do, right? Okay, now, let's start with this. What activity do secretaries do in your company, right? Uh, Maria, please. Do you have a secretary in your company, Maria? Or you are the secretary, no? No. No, no. No, no. What what is the name of the secretary, Maria? Do, don't tell me the company. I will I will check here. Maria de Jesus. No, 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 Maria Jesus, no. <laughs> eh, no, don't don't tell me. Don't tell me. No me va a decir, Maria. Okay. Eh, Servicio Las Moras, right? Right. Okay. In Servicio Las Moras, do you have a secretary? Or oh, oh, secretaries? Um yo soy técnico soy technical en laboratorio ajá uh -huh, but do you have a secretary in the company are you yes. a secretary okay good now yes what does the secretary do what are the activities maria the secretary does a uh, reports uh -huh. she makes reports uh, uh -huh. uh, she drinks uh, coffee. She drinks coffee. <laughs> okay, what else? Um, ah, te lo voy a decir en español porque ya okay. ahí es que realmente ahí no sé quién es la secretaria porque oh, okay. estoy en eh, estoy en área sí en área administrativa pero mi área es muy aparte entonces oh, okay. no, no secretaria. Sé I understand. No. Don't worry. No, Don't worry, no. Maria. No, no, no worry. In your area, no secretary, right? No. Okay. No. Yes. John, Jonathan, please. What about your company? Jonathan, let me say. Don't say the, the name, Jonathan. I will tell you the name of the company. It's Graph Depot, right? Graph Depot. Yes, Jonathan? Graph Depot. Yes. Ra uh -huh. Depot, excuse me. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> Excellent pronunciation, <laughs> Depot. The teacher say in Spanish, Depot. <laughs> que oso. Okay, uh, Graph Depot, right? So in Graph Depot, do you have a secretary, Jonathan? Yes. Yes. And what does the secretary do? Um, check an email. She checks emails? Uh, a 10 call. Ah, she attends calls. Eh, tomar mm. pedidos. Ask. Uh -huh. So, ask for requirements. Requirements. Uh -huh. Requirements, Requiring. pedido, right? Uh -huh. What else? Okay, no more, right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let's continue, right? Let's continue, right? Now, look. These are some of the activities we're going to learn, right? Type. Type is write something on the computer or other device, right? By, by pressing the keys. Send. Code something to be transmitted electronically, right? Dispatch, deliver. Right? For example, you, you send a, a WhatsApp, for example, right? You send. 
Hardworking. Hardworking is a person who tends to work with energy. Diligent, right? One example of this, Delia, right? She is hardworking. Okay, good. Other example is Ada. Ada is hardworking, right? Other example is Kenya. Uh -huh. Okay, Kenya, yes, right? Hardworking, diligent. They like to work, right? Okay. Now, let's go to the conversation. No, the conversation. No, the exercises here, right? Yes. Uh, this is in page number page number 11, right? In the manual. Sonia says, what does Dominique do, say Sonia? And Matt say, well, she's a, she's a secretary. Well, she's a secretary, right? Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Mm. Ah, I see your point. Well, she types reports and sends emails every day. She's a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she's the first person to arrive in the office, right? He's the first person. He's like Alexi, right? Alexi is the first person to go to the company, right, Alexi? No. He's not the first, Alexi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no el primero en llegar, Alexi, a, a Grupo Miguel, no. No. No, no, no. Ya hay otros ahí tomando café cuando usted llega. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, okay. So, good. But in the case of the of, uh, Dominique, she always arrives early to the office, right? Okay, now, please repeat after me. Repeat after me. What does Dominique do? What does Dominique do? What does Dominique do? Well, <laughs> she is she's... a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports. and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Arrive early? Yeah. Yeah, baby. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Now, ready? We are going to practice a different situation right now, a different activity. Repeat after me. What does Dominic do? Only Ada. Repeat, Ada. What does Dominic do? What? No, otra vez. Again, again, again. What does Dominic do? What does Dominic do? Okay, thank you very much. Everybody, everybody, repeat. Well, she is a secretary. Well, she's a secretary. Good. Brenda, please, only you, Brenda, repeat. Well, she is a secretary. 
Well, she is a secretary. Good, thank you. Everybody, everybody, please repeat. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? What does she do every day exactly? Okay, can you repeat that? Uh, Carlos? Hello. Repeat after me, Carlos. Oh, I see your point. No, wait. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Repeat. Oh, I see. Oh, my seat. What does she do every day exactly? What does you? What does any... she do every day exactly? What does those do every day in class? Exactly. 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 Yes. Well, thank you very much, Carlos. Now. Everybody, yes. repeat, please. Repeat after me, everybody. Sí. Ahora todos los demás. Okay. Oh, I see your point. Oh, I see what does. Oh, I see your point. Ahora entiendo lo que me querés decir. I see your point. Well... She types reports and send emails and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Delia, please. Only you, Delia. Repeat. Oh, I see your point. Oh, I see your point. Well, she types reports. Well, she types reports. And sends emails every day. And sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. She is a hardworking woman. Thank you, Delia. Now, everybody, everybody, repeat, please, everybody. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Does she arrive early? Elsa, please, only you. Only you. Ready, Elsa? Repeat, please. I'm ready. Okay, absolutely. Absolutely. The, oh, my goodness. Got a good pronunciation. Nice. Okay. Uh, does she arrive early? Does she arrive early? My goodness. Good pronunciation. Now, everybody, Thanks. please. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah, baby. She is the first person to arrive in the office. She is the first person to arrive in the office. Erenia, please. Only you, Erenia. Repeat, please. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Repeat, Erenia. Yeah. Yeah. She is the first person to arrive to the office. In the office, excuse me. She is the first person to arrive in the office. To arrive in the office. ¿Cómo? To arrive, to in, arrive. The in the office. To arrive in the office. Okay, thank you very much. 
Thank you very much. Okay, now let's practice this conversation, right? Let me see. Uh, we are going to have um, Evelyn. Evelyn, you're going to, to be Sonia. And Ingrid, you're going to be Matt. Are you ready? Evelyn, are you ready? Sorry? Okay, maybe the, the microphone, Evelyn. Evelyn, do you copy? Dios cuatro, Dios cuatro, Evelyn. Okay, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But so in this case, Ingrid, so Ingrid, you're going to be Sonia, right? And Jessica Carolina, you're going to be Matt. Ready? Okay, good, ready. Okay, one, two, three, action. What does... <laughs> What does Dominic do? Thank you, Ingrid. Now, Jessica Carolina. Mm -hmm. Well, she is. She is a secretary. Ingrid. <laughs> no recuerdo. Oh. 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 Oh, uh -huh. I, I see. <laughs> oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Jessica Carolina? <laughs> oh, I see your point. Well, your that is records and send emails every day. She is a hard word daddy. She is a hard working woman. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, Ingrid. <laughs> Absolutely. 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 Does she write early? Good. Absolutely, right? Now, please, Ingrid. Absolutely. Does no, she? No. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 She is. Yeah, she is. Uh, she is the first person to arrive in okay. the office. Excelente, so Ingrid. Thank you, Jessica Carolina, too. Yes, it's difficult. Memorize, right? Memorize. Now, oh, wait, I have a message here. Me levanté un momento. Ok, very good. Eh, Kenya. That, I understand, Kenya. No problem. And Francisco is participating already. Francisco ya está participando también. Yes, nice. Ya lo vamos a llamar, Francisco. Yes. Ok, now. The next conversation is... Eh, Jonathan and María. Jonathan, your Matt. And María, your Sonia. Ready, Maria? Ready, Jonathan? Yes. Yes, okay. Ready. One, two, three. Action. What does, what does Dominic do? Well, she is a secretary. Okay, Jonathan, good memory. Now, Maria? Oh, oh. Oh, 
Oh, I see. What does? Oh, I oh I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Will she thanks report and send email every day? She's a hardworking woman. Okay, thank you. Now, Maria. Absolutely. Does she write early? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's. Yeah. Um. She's. She's the first person to arrive in the office. To arrive in the office. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, two more students and we finish. But for the moment, clap for the participant. Claps, congratulations. Okay, good. Now we're going to have uh, Francisco, right? Francisco, your math. And uh, Maria Rene. Maria Rene, your, your Sonia, right? Memorize the conversation. Memorize. Ready? Okay. So you begin, you begin, Maria Rene. Yes. Okay, what one, does, two, three, action. What does Dominic do? Francisco? Well, she is a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point. Well, she type reports and sends emails. Every day. She is a, a, a working woman. Hard working, hard working woman. Okay, continue, please. Maria Rene? I don't remember. Absolutely. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is the, the first, first person, person, person to arrive to at arrive the office. To arrive in the office. In the office, in the office right? Aha, uh -huh, Delia. So, place on Delia. Come on, what happened, eh? Thanks, Delia. No, hey, no, Francisco, come on. This is cheating. Es hacer trampa, right? Solo por eso mañana la semita le toca a Delia. Yes. Okay. Good. You say, uh, yeah, she's the first person to arrive in the office. Thank you very much. Now we have some questions, right? Question number one. She type or she types? The question goes to uh, Mateo. Please, Mateo. She type or she types, Mateo? Types. Types, correct. Yes. Excelentoso, Mateo. Now, uh, Moises, please. Does she arrive or do she arrive late? Does she arrive? My goodness, totally correct, Moises. Yes. Now, Alexi? Does she arrive or does she does she arrive or does she arrives? Arrives with S, right? Yes. Yes. Excelentoso, Alexi. Yes. Good. Now, any question? 
Ah, en la última ya lleva el DAS. Sería Arrive. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Yes, so Arrive, correct. Thank you for the correction. Look, Alexi. Cada vez que usamos el DAS, Alexi, el okay. verbo. El verbo ya no se le agrega la S, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Ok, teacher. Arrive. Arrive. Yeah, arrive. Here, yes, look, she types. ¿Por qué? Porque es afirmativo, right? Y aquí, look, does she arrive? No decimos arrives, decimos arrive, right? Lo mismo aquí en la pregunta, yes? Don't forget that. So keep this in mind. Every time you use the auxiliary, The verb is normal. No es. Don't have this, right? No le agregamos ese nunca cuando llevamos el auxiliar. Okay, good. Now let's continue, right? Repetition. When do you use the simple present to describe habits? Repeated events and general theory. ¿Cuándo vamos a usar el presente simple, chicos? Cuando hablemos de rutinas, hábitos, etcétera, etcétera, right? And it's simple, the subject and the verb, right? And when it's third person singular, we say, she takes, he takes, etc., etc., right? Okay, and this is the, the structure. Subject, verb, and complement. I attend meetings every Monday. I, the subject, attend is the complement, right? Okay. Before I continue, I will take the attendance. Vamos a tomar la asistencia mientras tanto. Good. Eh, Ada. Hola. Present. Present, present. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I like it. I like it very natural, right, Ada? Eh, hola. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Ada. Now, eh, Brenda Lee. Me dijo que va a estar de oyente, Brenda Lee. No sé si ya va a participar o sigue de oyente. Me manda un mensaje. Yes, Brenda. Present. Thank you, Carlos. Present. Thank you, Francisco. Here, teacher. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Delia. Present, teacher. Present. Elsa. Present. Enrique Manuel. Irenia. Present. Irene. Okay, thank you. Evelyn. Present. Thank you, Evelyn. Freddy. No se ha conectado, Freddy. Okay, eh, Ingrid. Present, Tisha. Thank you, Jessica Araceli. Jessica Carolina. Present teacher. Jonathan. Present teacher. Kenya. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria. Present. Maria René. Present. Mateo. Present. Moises. Present teacher. Alexi. Present teacher. Wilfredo. Present teacher. William. Present. Wilmer. Present. Thank you, Wilmer. Thank you, Wilmer. Casi no le hemos hecho preguntas, ¿verdad, Wilmer? Ya vamos a atacar. Ah, perdón, sorry. <laughs> Hacerle preguntas. Ok, relax. Now, let's continue, right? So again, subject, verb, and complement, right? And in for third person, subject, verb, and complement, but in affirmative, we add an extra S to the verb, right? We add an extra S to the verb, look. Ta-da, the S, right? We don't say she make, no, she makes. Don't forget that, please. And now we have the general view, look. How to add the ES to the verb, right? When is third person he, she, and it? The rules. Rule number one, you are the S. Esto lo vimos en el curso pasado, ¿verdad? Elsa, ¿se recuerda? 
Yes, teacher. Sí, ¿verdad que lo vimos también? Yes. Sí, sí, ok, pero vamos a repasar. Ok, listen. When is the person singular, he, she, and it, right? He, she, and it. Only with she, with he, and with it, right? Only in affirmative, right? Only in the simple present. Para que esta regla se lleven a cabo, debemos usar tres situaciones. Primero, que sea he, she, and it, o un nombre en singular. Pedro, María, Juan, the student, the house, etc. Tiene que ser afirmativo, no hay negativo. Y debe ser presente simple, no pasado. ¿Yes? Ok. Number one. Add S to the verb. She make? No, it's she makes. He send? No, he sends. Helps. Talks, right? Add S. To the majority, right? A la mayoría de verbos. Number two. You add ES when the verb ends in S, CH, SH, X, Z, y en algunas ocasiones con O, right? Brush, brushes. Watch, watches. Dress, dresses. Fix, fixes, right? Okay. Change the Y to I when the verb ends in, in Y. So you say cry. We change the Y to I. Then you say cry. And then yes, cries. Other example is try, tries. Exception of the rule is that when the verb is preceded by a vowel, no by a consonant, by a vowel, you don't change. Si el, la Y es precedida por una vocal, entonces no se cambia la Y, se deja. So play, plays, enjoy, enjoy. Notice, please, antes de la Y, miren, que va aquí una vocal, a vowel. Enjoy, a vowel, una vocal. Entonces ahí no se cambia. En cambio con cry, mire, lleva una consonante, entonces sí se cambia, right? And then we have irregular forms. Do for does, go for goes, have for has, and the verb to be is. So you say, she does, he does, he goes, she goes, Philolize goes, my brother goes. She has, he has, he is, she is, misifus is, right? Etc, etc. Ok, good. I have a message, tengo un mensaje por acá. Ya puedo participar. Ah, Brenda Lee, thank you, Brenda Lee. Nice. Hoy solo tenemos tres faltas de 24, pues creo que la mayoría está presente, ¿verdad? así que me alegra muchísimo. Espero tener mañana a Enrique Manuel, a Freddy y a Jessica Araceli, que son los que nos han faltado. Hoy. Ok, good. Any question about this rule, class? ¿Hay alguna pregunta sobre esta regla? Estas reglas, these rules. No questions? Ok, let's continue. Notice the general view, right? Affirmative is subject and verb, right? The third person is subject and verb, but the verb has an S, right? La diferencia es que aquí le agregamos una S al verbo. I do, you do, we do, they do. He does, she does, it does, right? These are the auxiliaries. Y ayer describíamos que en español nosotros usamos la conjugación del verbo, pero en inglés, como no usan la conjugación del verbo, ellos usan auxiliares para indicar que algo es positivo, negativo, o algo eh, está en pregunta, etcétera, etcétera, right? Ok. Sorry, give me a second here. Permítame un segundito que siento que mi batería se me está bajando, descargando. Solo déjeme verificar, sorry. Permítame. Vamos a dejar de compartir un segundito. No, no, está bien la batería. No, no, it's okay, sorry, excuse me. 
perdón por el oso. Ahí estamos otra vez. Yes. Good. Let's continue. Right now, in negative, in negative, we use the, the auxiliary. Instead of say do, I mean, instead of say they work, we say do not work. They do not work in Siman. They don't work in Siman, right? For third person, we say my boss doesn't talk about the, the news. Doesn't. About the new rules, right? Okay. In general, look. I don't make phone calls. We don't make phone calls. They don't make phone calls. She doesn't make phone calls. He doesn't make, etc., etc. Right? Okay. Good. Now, here we have uh, the yes, no question, right? Hoy vamos a introducir la yes, no question. Y luego introducimos las expresiones de tiempo. Ready? Okay. Now, when you make questions in English, right? Eh... Uh, for the simple present, we use the auxiliary do or does. Here in this case, we use do. Do you like pizza? Mm. Yes, nice, right? Delicious. Yes, I do. You don't say, yes, I like. <laughs> yes, I like. No. Yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't. Right? Aunque no lo crea, hay gente que no le gusta la pizza, ¿verdad? Parecería extraño, pero sí. A mí sí me gusta, fascina, right? I like pizza. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, now. And with third person, we don't say do, we say does. Remember, he, she, and it, does. Does she live in La Unión? Yes, she does. In Conchagua, right? <laughs> no, she doesn't. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't, right? So these are now affirmative, Negative and question, right? Excuse me, excuse me. Now, the general view, right? Un listado general. Esta, aplica esta presentación se la voy a mandar al grupo. Y ahí la repaso, okay? Good. Do I ask for assistance? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Do you ask for assistance? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do Sylvia and Candy ask for assistance? Yes, they do. Do Elsa and Wilmer ask for assistance? Yes, they do. Plural, right? So in this case, is do. Yes, they do. No, they don't. But when it's third person singular, she, he, and it, or my friend, or my brother, or my sister, or Firulai, or Fido, right? We say does, not do. Does. Does he ask for assistance? Yes, he does. No, he does. Also, I can say, does Wilmer, or does William, sorry, ask for assistance? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't, right? Okay. Questions? Do you have questions? Yeah. Do you have questions, students? Yes or no? No question, teacher. Thank you very much, Delia. No question. No question. Thank you, Will. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Dino, for the collaboration. Remember, Dino is my assistant all the time, right? Hey, it's very hot today, right? Delia, yes. Uh, Delia, you live in, in Mexicano, right? No, I live in Santa Tecla. Ah, Sa Santa Tecla is hot. Yes. Incredible, right? Look at me, I have my fan. I have my fan, look. Ah. Yes. <laughs> it's necessary because it's very hot today. Good, now let's continue, right? Time to make exercise, right? Complete the statement and circle the correct simple present form, right? 
Now, please, I need the help of Alexia Partic Wilfredo. Hello, Wilfredo. Circle the correct simple present tense, right? I need or I needs. Wilfredo. I need a car. Excellent. Also, I need a car. Yes, that is correct. Number two. My brother one or my brother wants? William? My brother want. Oh, okay. Ah, no, that's Sorry. okay. No, no, no. My brother one or wants? Wants. Eh, Wilfredo? Wants. My brother okay. wants. Yes. Plus. Excelente. Also, Wilfredo. Wilfredo acaba de entrar al grupo y ya está contestando excelente. Eh, quiero contarle, Wilfredo, que aquí es obligación traer una semita y café. Oiga. It's okay. <laughs> okay, welcome, welcome. So, my brother wants. Thank you, thank you, Wilfredo. Okay. Now, William, William, please. Let's go to the next, William. Doralicia have or Doralicia has, William? Have. Doralicia have. But Doralicia is a he, she, they, or, or what? William? <clears throat> is they, we, she, he. I mean, it's not two person. Don't, don't say Dora Alicia. Dora and Alicia. No, no, no. It's only one. It's only one person. Dora Alicia, right? Dora la exploradora. Dora Singular or plural? Plural. Uh -huh. No. No, no, right? Singular. Dora. Singular. Uh -huh. So, Dora Alicia have or Dora Alicia has, William? Have. Mm, okay, let's look at this. Vamos al repaso aquí. Check it out, right? Check it out. Um, ah, no. Aquí está, ok. Irregular. Do, does, go, goes, have, has. Be, is, right? Ok. Yes. Now, William, let, give me a second. Permítame un segundo que me fui bien atrás. <laughs> Okay, so Doralicia have or Doralicia has? Has. Excelente, also, right? Doralicia has. Mm -hmm. Wilmer, we like or we likes? ¿Y quién te enseñaba a vender casa? No? Nadie. Entonces, oh, ¿qué estás no. hablando de vender casa? Oh my goodness, I broma. love that beautiful voice. Me fascina esa, esa vocecita. <laughs> okay, Wilmer, please. We eh, love children. Eh, listen, we love Wilmer. In this class, we love semita and children. Aquí las dos cosas que nos gustan, bueno, tres cosas, ¿verdad? El inglés, obviamente. La semita y los niños. Que ya vemos bastante que que tienen niños, así es que incluyanlos en la clase, yes. <laughs> okay. ok, now, we like or we likes, Wilmer? We like. We like, correct. ¿Hay niños en su casa, Wilmer? Yes, pero oh, ya está. Ya están dormiditos. Dormiditos. <laughs> Hay algunos que se quedan todavía. Ok, now. Good, now, repeat after me, please. I need a card. My brother wants those shoes. My brother wants those shoes. Doralicia has a new jacket. Doralicia has a new jacket. We like good restaurants. La Hacienda Real, for example, right? Or maybe Buffalo Wings. Mm, delicious. Okay, now let's continue with the exercise. Continue working. Let's continue working. Uh, 
Ok, number six, right? No falta uno ahí, pero vamos a hacer eso. Ok, my parents. Eh, Ada, please, my parents like or my parents likes? My parents like. Ah, ok, Wilfredo. Thank you, Wilfredo. Ok, we're going to listen to, we're going to take the option of Wilfredo. No problem, Wilfredo. Yes, no problem. Yeah. Lo importante es que participemos todos. Yes, yeah, thank you. Like, excellent, Wilfredo. Nice. Okay, now, sure. the next one. Yes? Uh, any question? Yes, tell me. My my parents is uh, they. Uh -huh, because they, it's my father, uh, my father and my mother. Uh, the it's plural, it's plural. They, they. They, correct. They like, right? We don't say they likes. No, no, it's they like. So my parents like. Or, or you can say, for example, Moises, uh, my sisters, my sisters like, right? Because it's plural. Every time it's plural, you say like, right? Thank you. Now, Ada, Maria's sister need or needs a bicycle? Ada? Mm, needs. Needs. Correct. Because his sister is only one. Only one is singular, right? So needs a bicycle, right? Bicycle, bicycle. Okay. Now, he like or he likes your pants, Brenda Lee? He likes your pants. Like. Okay. Like. He, with S, with S. Yes. Okie dokie, it's correct. Yes, it's with S, likes, right? He likes your pants. Thank you. Next one, number nine. Good, it says, wait a minute. My mom, my mother, need or needs? Brenda? Need. Need this one? Yes. Yes. Mm, but my mom is singular or, or, or plural, Brenda? Singular. Uh huh. So? Needs. Needs, correct. Yes. Okie dokie. Now, Carlos, please. Next one, Carlos. You need or you needs? Yes. Need or mm -hmm. needs? You needs. With Porque S. Está plural el otro. Mm -hmm. Por el otro es ties. No, okay, but the subject is you, Mar eh, I mean, Carlos. You need ties. Uh -huh, you, need. you need, correct. Excelentoso, Carlos. Se arrepintió a tiempo, yes. You need. Ok, aquí quiere decir que no importa que esto sea plural, mire, Carlos, ties. Lo importante es el sujeto que está al principio, ¿sí? Está en primero. Ah, you. correct, yes, you. So you say you need, ¿ok? Very good. Yes. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, yes, yes, uh, yes. What, what does this? Ties. Uh, ties in Spanish. Look, ties. Looks tie. Yo miro. No, no, no. Uh, <ríe> corbatas, uh, corbatas. Uh, <ríe> no, no, no me ve el, el tie ahí. <ríe> Ties, uh, corbata, corbata. Uh, yes. You're welcome. Now, uh, next one, please. Ya no hay. Ah, oh, yes. Eleven, right? Uh, Francisco, please. Lawyers, liars, liars. No, lawyers, need or needs. Francisco. Needs. With S. Yes. Okay, but lawyers is singular or plural, Francisco? No. <laughs> plural or singular? Lawyers. Lawyers. Is plural, right? Oh, you can say they. So they need or they needs. Francisco? Need. Need, right? Correct. Need. Yes. Excelentoso. Okidoki, right? Thank you, Francisco. 
Now, please, repeat after me. Repeat after me, please. My parents like boats. No, boats. Yes, boats. My parents My pa like boats. My parents like boats. My parents like boats. Maria's sister needs a bicycle. He likes your pants. My mom needs a dress. You need ties. Lawyers need suits at work. Okay, good. Any question? Good. Now we're going to make another exercise, right? Ready for the action? It says change affirmative to negative. Affirmative to negative, right? Ready? Okay. Juan has a big house. What is the negative for Juan has a big house? In Juan doesn't. Oh. Does... Okay, Delia, come on. Yes. Juan doesn't have a big house. Okie dokie. Thank you. Now let me see. <clears throat> Number two, right? This is for eh, let me see. Brenda ya me participó. Carlos Francisco. Ajá, Delia. Ya Delia ya puede su su lugar en la lista. ¿va? Your number six, Delia. Excelentoso, yes. So Elsa, please. Number two. I don't need a white shirt at work. My goodness. I don't. Or you can say I do not, right? Contraction. I don't need a white shirt. Permítame que, que me está tapando la, el menú. A white shirt at work. Okie dokie. Thank you, Elsa. Uy, se me... Permítame. Voy a hacerlo otra vez. Sorry, sorry. Es que no va a haber espacio para la otra. I don't need a white shirt at work. Okay, yes. At work, right? Good. Now, number three. And... Is Erenia, right? Erenia, ready? Are you ready, Erenia? Sí. Ok, permítame que... Ya se me salió del guacal este. <laughs> Ahorita. Ok. They want black shoes. Erenia, in negative, they want black shoes. They... Doesn't want want black shoes. They doesn't oh doesn't want. They don't know. Ah, don't, don't or doesn't. Don't. Don't correct. Don't want black shoes. Black shoes, right? Thank you very much. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Next one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, after Arania, we have Evelyn. Are you ready, Evelyn? Miss Fuentes Parada. Hello, hello. Okay, so uh, Ingrid. Help me, please, Ingrid. The store has those jackets. Negative, Ingrid. The, the dozen. 
to stop has to to jackets okay the dozen store mm, hmm. wait a minute the dozen store or the store what do you think the the don the don the, the store right yes the store uh-huh the store the store that doesn't uh -huh. have or has ingrid have have correct Remember that every time, ya dijimos la regla general, que siempre, me acuérdate, siempre que usamos el auxiliar, el verbo va igualito, no se cambia, right? In this case, have, right? Thank you, Ingrid. Thank you very much. Nice. Now, number five, please. This is for eh, Jessica Carolina. We want red ties. We want red ties. Yeah. We don't want red ties. Excellent. Also, nice. Good. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Juan has a big house. One doesn't have a big house. I need a white shirt at work. I don't need a white shirt at work. They want black shoes. They don't want black shoes. The store has those jackets. The store doesn't have those jackets. We want red ties. We don't want red ties. Good. Any question? Good. Now complete with do and that, right? But because of the time, we're going to practice uh, some conversation, right? Eh, quiero practicar unas conversaciones con ustedes, chicos. Así que vamos a hacerlo rápido aquí, okay? Do or does. Number one, please. Eh, this is for Jonathan. Do or does, Jonathan? Do. Do, right? Okay. Do, and then no, I don't, right? Vamos rápido, Jonathan. No, I don't. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, Kenya, do or does, Kenya? Does. Does. Yes, he, because John is a man, right? Yes, he does. Thank you. Number three. Eh, Maria, does or do? Does or do, Maria? Perdón, no había entendido. Este es do. Do, congratulations, es do, right? And then, no, I don't. ¿Te gustan las fiestas en las noches? No, I don't. Solo en el día, porque hay piñatas. <laughs> okay, number four. María René, please. That's... Do das, correct. Does your wife need a sweater? No, she doesn't, right? Good, and to finish this exercise, Mateo, please. Do or does, Mateo? Uh, 
Uh, that's. Uh, but it's you and your friends. You know? Un montón de gente ahí, ¿no? <laughs> Do or does. Uh, do. Do, right? Yes. Do you and your friends? Yes, we. We, because it's we. I mean, you and your friends. Yes, we do, right? We do. Excellent. Good. Now, question for uh, Moises. I make the, the question and you the answer, right? Ready, Moises? Ready. Do you need a green shirt at work? Uh, no, I don't. Does John have three children? Um, yes, he does. Do you uh, like parties at night, Moises? I don't know. <laughs> no, I? No. No, I don't know. No, I don't. No, no lo sé, Rick. Se ve algo fiestero, Moisés. <laughs> no, I don't, say. Moisés, no, I don't. No, I don't. Good. Does your wife need a sweater? She doesn't. No, she? No, she doesn't. Good. Do you and your friends like movies? Uh, um, do you, uh, yes, we do. Excellent. Also, Moises, thank you. Now, let's continue. Let's continue. Ya casi se nos acaba la clase. Y tenemos que, que ver bastante material. Yes. Okay, notice this, please. Uh, with these activities, let me see. Aquí ya casi se nos termina. Es que uh, esta actividad es un poco larga. Entonces, vamos, vamos a hacerla rapidito. Yes. Good. Now, uh, this question goes to, to Alexi, right? Alexi, I will make some sentences in affirmative and you make some sentences uh, with the other, uh, with the other uh, sentence, right? With the other examples, I said. Okay, look. Pay attention, mm -hmm. uh, Alexi. Yo voy a hacer estas que están aquí y usted me hace las siguientes, ¿ok? Ready? Ok, teacher. Pay attention. I know the policies. You know the regulation. She helps workers. My brother help people. They help the company. Ok, now. Your turn, Alexi. Puedo usar cualquier sujeto. I, you, he, we. Solo que si usa she y he, me le va a agregar una S al verbo, ¿ok? Come on, go ahead. Okay. Uh, you are... It's... Advertise. Advertise the company. Uh, and they design... Design, design. Design and software. Software. Um, you delete... Develop, 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 What? develop, Dile. no, dive, dive, develop, develop, mm -hmm. software, and they answer the point, um, my phone card, I, you, he, she, And you may, I... Only one, solo uno, Alexis, solo uno. You may podcast. Excellent, very good, Alexis. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Now let's continue with the next one, right? In this case, it's negative. This is for Wilfredo. Now, Wilfredo, listen. I will make some examples and you continue with the example, Wilfredo. So let's start with this, right? Hasta aquí lo voy a hacer yo. Usted hace lo demás. Me hace lo demás. Okay. Now, I don't write reports. They don't send reports. She doesn't send emails. He doesn't arrange meetings. My brother doesn't carry boxes. Okay. So, affirmative to negative. Now, Wilfredo. It's your turn, Wilfredo. I care products. 
No, I don't carry products. I don't carry. I don't carry products. Ah, continue. Este sería they keep track. They don't keep track. They don't. They don't keep track. Okay. I I don't repair. I don't repair the computer. Yeah, I, I, I don't ask for assistant. Okay, thank you, Wilfredo. Okay. Very good. I like the people that are very buzos, like you, right? <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, let's continue with the next one, right? In this case, questions. Questions. Okay? Who's going to help me, William? Are you ready, William? Yes. William? Yes, okay, good. Yo le voy a dar con esta, mire. Y usted me hace las otras, okay. Now, question. Do you install programs? Do you sell products? Does he exchange information? Does my brother buy new mer merchandise? Question, right now, ready? Do you receive money? <clears throat> Alessandro, does this is what no. you buy? No, does Alejandro decide? Alejandro does, decide does, does, no, no. No. wait, wait, does Alejandro decide? Does decide Alessandro? No, no, no. Does Alessandro decide? Does Alessandro decide? Mm -hmm. Want to buy? What to buy? Right. Continue. Continue. You, you do. Do you? you do you? No, okay. Do you? Do you transport product? Uh -huh. Like a question. Do you transport products? Do you transport product? Do you fix car? Excellent. Also, right. Alessandro is your son, William. Yes. Excellent. Por ahí le escuchamos, ¿verdad? Qué bonita la voz. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, William. Wilmer, please. No, creo que ya no alcanzó para Wilmer. Déjeme ver. No, ya no alcanzó, Wilma. <laughs> ya lo vamos a tomar en cuenta. Okay. Now, look, look at this. Expressions we use uh, for frequency, right? I check my email every day. You know, esta es una frecuencia. Todos los días, right? I type a letter once a day. Una vez al día. Otra frecuencia, miren. Twice a week. Three times a month. On Wednesdays. Once a day, once a month, every Monday, and every day. So this is the frequency, right? Okay? La frecuencia con que hacemos algo. Para indicar frecuencia en inglés, tenemos dos tipos de estructuras. Tenemos adverbios de frecuencia y expresiones de frecuencia. En ambas situaciones usted está indicando la frecuencia con lo que usted hace algo. Por ejemplo, aquí yo chequeo mi, mi correo todos los días. Right? That is the frequency, es la frecuencia. No es todos los sábados o cada viernes, no, no. Todos los días, every day, right? Okay, now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. I check my email every day. I type a letter once a day. They write a report twice a week. Twice is two times, right? Two times. She attends a meeting three times a month. Ella va a las reuniones tres veces al mes, right? She attends a meeting three times a month. He calls clients on Wednesdays.
You read a report once a day. She visits clients once a month. My boss organizes meetings every Monday. My co-worker answers the phone every day. Okay, very good. Expressions of time, right? Now we have a conversation. Look, what's his name? Ah, uh, his name is Miguel. Miguel! Okay. Where does he live? He lives in Mexico City. Look, Mexico City, right? What language does he speak? Mm, he speaks Spanish. What does he do every day? He eats Mexican food. Orale, taquitos. He reads Mexican newspapers and he listens to Mexican music. Like, graben la penca de un maguey. Mexican food, right? No, Mexican music, sorry. Okay? Now, what's his name? Where does he live? What language does he speak? And what does he do every day, right? And now we're going to change character, right? I will make the question. And who's next? Ada. Ada, you answer, right? Oh, no, ya no nos alcanzó el tiempo. Bueno, eh, ¿les parece que mañana hagamos esta práctica? Sí, para terminar con el presente simple. Ya okay. no, quiero, no los quiero retener más. It's okay. Eh, yes, now. Ya sé que están cansaditos, ¿verdad? Eh? Solo que eh, me voy a quedar con Brenda unos 10 minutos. ¿Estamos bien, Brenda? Sí, dicha. Yes, excelentoso, Brenda. I like it. Good. Ahí repasamos con el presente simple, oiga, Brenda. Ok, now, eh, los demás los voy a ir llamando. Hoy voy a darle vuelta a la lista. <risa> Empiezo desde abajo. <risa> ok, and say good night, right? So, Wilmer... Present teacher. Okay, good night. Good William. Night. Good William. Night. Good okay, good night. William. Good night. Good night. Wilfredo. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Nice to meet you. Me too, me Thank too, you. Wilfredo. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Don't forget, See right? It's okay. okay. Alexi. Present teacher. Good okay. night. See you tomorrow. Moises. Present teacher. Okay. Good night. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. God bless you. Uh, Mateo. Present. Good night. Good night. Maria Rene. Maria Rene. Okay. okay. Thank you, Maria Rene. Maria. Present. Good night. Good night. Kenya. Present. Good night. Good night. Jonathan. Good night. God bless you. You too. You too. Jessica Carolina. Present teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Ingrid. Present teacher. Good night. You too. Bye bye. Evelyn. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Erenia. Present. Good night. See you. Take care. Delia. Present. Good night. Good night. Francisco. Present. Good night. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Eh, Carlos. Present. Bye bye. Brenda. Bye bye. Present. Good. No se me voy a ir, Brenda. No se me voy a ir. <laughs> Brenda Lee. Present. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ada. Present. Good night. Okay. Good night. God bless you. Bye bye. Teacher. Yes. Do you forget me? Oh, Elsa, me. Elsa, excuse me, Elsa, Elsa Magaña. Yes. Okay, present. <laughs> excuse me, Elsa. Good night. Good night. God bless you, right? God bless you. And Ada, right? Ada? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Brenda, welcome to the your personal class, right? Any question? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta sobre el presente simple, Brenda? 
Ya lo vimos en el curso anterior, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, the microphone, Brenda, el micrófono. Me está ayudando ahorita lo del repaso. Ah, bueno. Lo estamos viendo ahorita. Ajá. Excelente. Sí, este, Elsa me decía que ya lo habíamos visto, yo sé, ¿verdad? Pero, pero como la, el programa lo pide nuevamente, hay que repasarlo, ¿eh? Solo que lo vamos sí. viendo más, más rápido, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá, sí, sí. Este, ¿Usted se confunde con la tercera persona, eh, Brenda, o, o le, ya lo maneja? O sea, sí si me confundo, quizás eh, hace poco que, que me preguntó si me confundí, pero como que en el momento, o sea, capté otra vez. Ah, sí. Okay, 20, ajá, ajá. Sí. O sea, como estaba un poquito también distraída, fue que me, sí. me confundí. Uh -huh. Bueno, este, es las tres en las tres, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, estructura, ¿verdad? En la, firma, en la afirmativa. Le voy a poner ejemplos para, para que vea, ¿verdad? En la afirmativa. Es de agregarle la S, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, she takes um, a shower, por ejemplo. Entonces, no se le olvide que hay que agregarle S, ¿verdad? En el afirmativo, ¿sí? Y que hay varias reglas. Se le agrega, se le agrega S, take, solo se le agrega la S. Si termina en la Y, se le cambia la Y por Y latina, luego le agrega S, right? Y si el verbo termina en una de estas letras, eh, pongamos la O aquí también. La S y la Z. Cuando termina una de estas, le agregamos S. Por ejemplo, he washes, ¿verdad? The car. Eh, he fixes. Él arregla el carro. Ok, good. Entonces, cada vez que sea afirmativo, Brenda, le vamos a agregar la S. Oiga. Okay. Muy bien. Y por último, la última regla. ¿Cuál era la última regla? Quiero ver. Ah, los irregulares, ¿verdad? Que decimos, she does her homework. Ella hace su tarea. She, he has a meow meow. A cat, right? No decimos haves, sino que has. Has. Uh -huh. Y ya en negativo, para la tercera persona siempre vamos a usar el das. Decimos, si das en. Ponemos el das y luego le contratamos la, contractamos la palabra not. Das en eat. Pupusas. No le gusta comer pupusas, ¿verdad? Es un pecado, pero <ríe> solo es un ejemplo. ¿Ok? Y dasen play football ok y en preguntas que es lo que acabamos de ver otra vez se usa el das das he live in cujucuyo y respondemos con la misma auxiliar yes he does si ahí vive o no I don't. ¿Ok? No, no. No, he doesn't. Sorry, perdón. Ya es la hora, ya es la hora, Brenda. Ya me estoy durmiendo. <risa> <risa> eh, he doesn't. No, he doesn't, right? Entonces, ahí están los tres. Afirmativo, negativo y preguntas. Siempre ¿Y se puede usar el, el to not también? No, aquí no porque es tercera persona, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Recuérdense uh -huh. que la tercera persona es el he, el she, el it, o cualquier nombre singular, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Singular noun. Cualquier nombre singular se le agrega ese. Por ejemplo, di digo, the student, la estudiante. Mire, the student. Eh, works hard, mire trabaja fuerte, mire no, perdón aquí hay que borrar la S ahí estamos 
el estu la estudiante o el estudiante trabaja, works, mire, es un nombre singular. Uh -huh. Yo digo Brenda, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Brenda works, no me diga dónde trabaja Brenda, permítame un segundo, aquí le voy a, tengo el listado. <risa> ah, en el hotel Mirador Plaza, yes, excelente. Quedé en la escalón, me dijo la vez pasada, ¿verdad? Sí, en la escalón. Excelente. Algún día vamos a conocer. Eh? <ríe> Brenda works in eh, hotel eh, plaza, right? Acabo de ver, Mirador Plaza, sorry. Hotel Mirador Plaza, qué oso. Hotel Mirador Plaza. ¿Ok? Brenda es un nombre, un nombre propio, right? De, la estudiante okay. es un nombre propio, eh, común. Y también con todos los que llevan he, she, and it, le vamos a agregar siempre la S, mire. Sí. Pero si ya, ya ponemos de ella, es otro pisto, mire. They, they work, allá nos le agrega, ¿verdad? Sí. Creo yo que esta es la parte más difícil, como separar el, el do y el das. Ajá, sí. Cuando usarlo, ¿verdad? Y, y cuando agregarle la S a, a los. Mire, yo cuando estaba aprendiendo esto me, es lo que me costó más. Yo nunca entendía cuando sí, yo me sí, eso. bastante. <risa> nunca entendía, pero yo quiero que Brenda entienda. ¿Sí, sí sabe cuándo le agrega S? Sí, es, pues se sí. le va a agregar a las terceras personas. Correcto. O cuando sí. el nombre sea singular. Ajá, o sea, sea ¿Sí? propio. Correcto. Es correcto, Brenda. Y dígame, eh, ¿se recuerda los consejos que le di el curso pasado, verdad? De películas, canciones. ¿Ha estado sí, practicando? Todos los días, por lo menos, eh, cuando voy hacia eh, mi trabajo, estando en el trabajo, a veces me pongo a ver los videos que usted está mandando o canciones eh, que sí. se me hagan más eh, fáciles de comprender. O que yo sepa que, que traen eh, palabras que yo, yo puedo comprender. Porque algunas que son muy rápidas. Muy rápidas. Me no, abrumo bueno. rápido. Ajá, Ajá. Yo también. El rap me cuesta entender. Ajá. Sí. No, no, está bien, Brenda. Y mire, en, en el hotel llegan personas que hablan inglés. Sí, sí. Eh, a veces eh, me, lo, me, 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 me gusta estar, digamos, como en los pasillos y todo. Porque hay personas que sí le hablan a uno inglés. Y yo lo puedo entender, pero ya al hablarlo sí se me dificulta bastante, pero sí lo puedo entender todo lo que, lo que ah, me bueno. preguntan. ¿no? Y en clase, cuando yo estoy hablando, entiende bien lo que yo, lo que yo digo. Sí. Ah, vaya, qué bien. Y yo le logro bien. entender, solo quizás ya al formular la, la, las oraciones, lo que yo quiera hablar, como que sí, quizás los mismos nervios de, del equivocarme, ¿no? <risa> No, me no, no, tranquila, ya ve que aquí todos nos equivocamos, así que tranquilita. Además ya tiene, con este dos cursos ya, ya tiene sí. que haber perdido el miedo, tranquila. <ríe> si es que todos nos equivocamos siempre, ya ve que cuando hacemos las prácticas, siempre, ¿verdad? Algunos le chisporrotean los yunques por ahí <ríe> y me dicen, we likes. sí. Pero es normal, estamos aprendiendo, así que usted no se preocupe si se equivoca, oiga. Y este, mi consejo es que, ¿verdad? Este, le dedique mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? Porque ahora que se ha metido a esto, pues le aseguro, bueno, usted ya sabe en la vida práctica en el hotel, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, ya, ya vio por. Es muy necesario. Por cuenta propia, sí, y no crea. Eh, eso le puede generar más oportunidades de trabajo y de. Y de de ascenso también, ¿verdad? Primero sí. Dios, oiga. Oh, bueno, Brenda, I don't know if you have any question. No sé si hay alguna pregunta extra. No, nada, eh, pero sí me gustaría saber si aparte de los videos que usted comparte en el grupo, podía dejar como más vocabulario, como palabras eh, para saber el significado. Ah, ok. Va, mire, lo que voy a hacer mejor es compartirle un libro. La vez pasada se los compartí, pero esta vez lo voy a volver a compartir. Es un diccionario. Uh -huh. Entonces, usted lo abre y va a ver que ahí hay animales, frutas, lugares, eh, ocupaciones, ropa, ¿ya? Entonces, sí. un montón de vocabulario. Entonces, usted solo lo baja del grupo de WhatsApp y ya lo pone en su computadora y lo despliega, si, si quiere también lo imprime. 
¿verdad? Y ahí puede practicar bastante vocabulario. Eh, si se fijan los videos que yo envío, por ejemplo, los lunes envío un video de vocabulario. Sí. Los martes de gramática y los miércoles de escuchar, los jueves de música y los viernes de, de un libro que ustedes pueden sí. leer. Ahí les he estado enviando, ¿verdad? Así que practíquelos y, y si quiere le vamos a dar énfasis al vocabulario. Fíjese que lo que he dedicado también, no sé si se ha fijado en las presentaciones, que antes de cada conversación yo elijo unas dos, tres, cuatro palabras y, y les doy el concepto, pero en inglés. Uh -huh. Entonces ahí es como que trabajamos con el vocabulario también, ¿no? Entonces... Ajá. Sí, pero como más que todo el vocabulario es de, de trabajo, ¿verdad? Área de... de... Sí, es correcto. No, Ajá. no, pero mire, Brenda, ahí, ¿sabe cómo me puede ayudar usted? Pregúnteme en la clase, dígame, teacher, how do you say cujucuyo? Eh, no, cujucuyo. No, eh, eh, hard. How do you say hard in Spanish, teacher? Difícil. Difícil. Pues, ya en clase usted como que me puede ir ayudando a, a, a ver algún vocabulario que usted no entienda, pues. ¿Verdad? Para que sí. así cuando usted lo entienda, lo entiendan todos. Pues. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? ¿Le parece? Sí, vale. sí. sí. Ahí quedamos entonces con el vocabulario, ¿ok? Thank you very bueno. much, Brenda. Have a good night. Bueno. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you.